Hello, this is CDX Technologies, and in this video we'll show you a simple function in Microsoft Excel that will calculate driving distance or driving time between two or more locations. This function is added to Excel with our CDX Zipstream software and works in conjunction with Bing Maps for route data. The locations can be a postal code, a city, or a full address. Let's start Microsoft Excel and take a look at how to use this formula, named CDX Route Bing. We've already installed CDX Zipstream on this computer, as you can see by the presence of it in Excel's top menu. The simplest way to enter CDX Route Bing is to right-click on a blank cell, then choose the CDX Zipstream Functions menu option and select the formula in the list that follows. This brings up a dialog where we can enter two addresses for our route. They can be specific street addresses, or they can be more general addresses, such as a zip code or city. So let's enter a full address for the first, 2 West Hanover Avenue, Randolph, New Jersey. And a zip code for the second, 07801. This is the zip code for Dover, New Jersey. For this case, we will select a route which represents the distance of the quickest route between the two addresses. We'll also specify that the route calculation will be the driving distance in miles and the travel type will be set to driving. There are additional travel types in Bing of walking and transit that are available. Then simply click OK to send these locations to Bing and return the result. 5.29 miles is the calculated distance of the quickest route. In the formula bar, we can see the cell contains the equation with the CDX route Bing function. This works like other functions you may have used in Excel before, like average or sum. But in this case, we have the name of the function, and that is followed by a few input parameters. The first number here is 0, meaning that we have selected the quickest route. The second number 0 means the results sent back to the spreadsheet will be the distance of the route in miles. The third number represents the travel type of driving. And then that's followed by our two addresses. Now this type of calculation can be performed by web-based mapping programs such as Google Maps or Yahoo. But the big advantage of doing this in Excel is that we can easily apply this to a list of addresses in a worksheet simply by copying and pasting the first formula. Let's take a look at an example which represents a common logistics problem. Suppose for instance we need to analyze the driving distance from this address to all possible zip codes in the same county. To set this up we can use the CDX zip list function which is available as part of CDX Zipstream. Let's first create a new worksheet for this analysis. Then we'll just position our cursor where we would like to place the list, right click, and bring up the CDX zip list dialog. Then we select the state, New Jersey, the county, Morris, and specify that we would like only zip codes returned. Pressing OK brings up a list of all 55 New Jersey zip codes. In the next available column, we'll now right-click on the first blank cell. Then click on the CDX Zipstream menu and select CDX Route Bing. Instead of entering the address text as we did before, let's enter the cell location for the first zip code in column C. That's C4. Now enter a fix to West Hanover Ave for the second address. This will enter a formula in cell D4 that can be copied down the list and automatically reference the first zip code in each row. Now you can copy the formula manually in Excel or just select the auto copy option in the dialog. This option will copy the formula down the list and set all the formulas to text. Setting the formulas to text will prevent them from recalculating and making additional unnecessary requests to Bing 
if you sort or filter the list. Just press OK to start this process and return the results you need. The examples we've discussed so far only cover routes with two addresses, a start and an ending address. Unlike most competing solutions, CDX Zipstream allows you to specify up to 100 addresses in a single calculation. Let's create a new worksheet and then copy in a delivery list of addresses we would like to analyze. To analyze this list, start the CDX Route Bing dialog and then instead of two separate addresses, enter the range of addresses in the first address box. That would be C4 through C9. Please note that the first and last address in this example are the same. Pressing OK returns the following result and formula. The distance shown optimizes the sequence of waypoints or locations to minimize the travel time. CDX Zipstream also offers an option to calculate the non-optimized locations as entered. In addition to allowing ranges, the address list can be entered as a parameter array with separate entries. In the formula, instead of a range, you can specify the discrete points such as C4, C5, etc. This leads to the same result. CDX Zipstream can also create an entire trip report. Move to the location where you'd like to place the report. Then select the CDX Route Bing function and enter the address range. But instead of driving distance in the route calculation option, select the trip summary in miles. Then press OK to create the report. This report shows the driving distance, driving time, route assumptions, the optimized waypoints, and a route map all in one step. We've just scratched the surface on all the features that CDX Zipstream offers. For more information, please visit us at www.cdxzipstream.com. A free demo is available, along with example templates and technical information about the product. Thanks for listening, and don't hesitate to contact us about the demo or with any other questions by emailing support at cdxtech.com.